Hey, what's up guys? 98 Sports Talk here. So ESPN has come out with their FPI rankings for 2018 for each team. And just want to go over all the ones for the SEC, obviously, is what we do here on uh, on the channel. Just talk SEC football. So I want to go over the uh, the schedule, and this stuff's really interesting. And then we'll talk about, at the end, kind of the, uh, you know, what... Um, ESPN gives us the FPI ranking, the projected win-loss, chance of winning out, and all that. We'll do that at the end of the video. But first, we'll run through each. They, they basically give a uh, projected win-loss for each game. And so let's go ahead and do that here with Georgia. So Georgia's got, you know, Austin P. Cupcake, 99% chance of winning that. Cupcake, easy. 79% chance of winning at South Carolina. That I'm, you know, that's that's kind of up there. I'm not sure if I agree with that one. I definitely think Georgia's a favorite, but almost an 80% chance of winning that game. That's pretty strong. Uh, Middle Tennessee, 70, uh, not excuse me, 98% chance they're going to win that one. Missouri, it lists a 78% chance to win that game. Tennessee, this is kind of interesting, a 93.7% chance to win that game. So they don't, they don't, uh, apparently ESPN doesn't think too much of Tennessee's chances this year. Uh, Vanderbilt, that one's a 97.5% chance to win that one for Georgia. At LSU, this one's kind of interesting to me, 77.2% chance to win that game. I, you know, that's, that's just too high. I don't, I don't see Georgia as, as having a 77% chance of winning that game. Um, you, you, you don't, you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't cause 77% chance that tells me that's almost, you know, that's a, that's a, that's over three, you know, three fours. That's a pretty high likelihood they win that game. I don't, I don't see it that way. I think it's a little bit lower. I'm not sure where, maybe 65%, something like that. But, uh, ESPN says 77 Florida. The next game is a 78.7% chance to win that game, uh, in Jacksonville. Next is Kentucky at 89.9%. Auburn is the next one. Auburn is actually the toughest game, according to ESPN, uh, on, on the schedule there for Georgia. Georgia is a 66.7% chance of winning that game. That's kind of where I see that LSU game, um, you know, more in that range, something like that. But ESPN obviously is showing a little bit more love to Auburn at this point. Um, and Georgia also has the Auburn game at home, and they, they've got the LSU game on the road. So, you know, big difference there uh, to me. Then UMass is a 98% chance to win that game, probably 100. I don't see how Georgia could lose to UMass uh, or Austin P. And then finally, Georgia Tech is on there, last game of the season for Georgia, at an 86% chance to win that one. So I don't really I don't really disagree with any of those percentages outside of the LSU one and the South Carolina one. I think those are probably a little bit too high. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. But now I want to go over the uh, where um, where ESPN thinks Georgia's um, FPI rank will end up. Uh, they've got Georgia as number three. Uh, the number three ranked team in the in, in the nation, Clemson being one, Bama being two, Georgia being three. Projected win loss is ten point nine and one point nine. So basically, they're saying Georgia's going to go eleven and two, something like that, uh, most likely. Chance of winning out for Georgia is nine point seven percent. So almost a ten percent chance of going undefeated. That's pretty strong. Um, strength of schedule is at 43. Um, so that's, you know, I, I think that'll probably improve once the season gets going and the chance of winning the SEC. This is kind of the big one. Uh, they've got Georgia as, as really the favorite to win the SEC, actually, even over Alabama, even though Alabama is ranked ahead in the, in the final FPI rank, Georgia is a better odds on favorite to win the, uh, win the SEC championship, according to the FPI rankings here at 41.6 percent alabama's just slightly under that um, and you can reason that out by saying the east is going to be a little bit easier to win than the west and therefore georgia has a higher percentage chance of winning the sec championship um, so what do you guys think about this i think this is awesome to look at um, again i think this is pretty a pretty accurate read for georgia 
The only thing, again, I disagree with is I'm not sure, you know, Georgia's such a big favorite at South Carolina and at LSU. Anytime you go on the road in the SEC, those games are going to be tough. But again, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. And I'm going to do one of these for each team, so be sure to check those videos out. And if you haven't subbed yet, please do so. Smash that sub button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.